the royal family is in danger of abolishing itself by stealth by spending less time engaging with the people of Britain, a shock report reveals. King Charles has been warned the monarchy is at risk of becoming too distant from the nation it seeks to serve after a dramatic slump in the number of public engagements. Death, scandal and resignation are blamed for a 40% drop in ribbon-cutting and handshaking duties over the past decade, says a study by an influential think tank. And it predicts that if missing junior royals don't do more to support the new king the monarchy could easily collapse. The stark warning comes just three weeks before the eyes of millions will be on the king and queen Camilla for the coronation. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. One hour ago 05 49 Matt Gibson Lady Boss Camilla won't be pushed about Queen Consort Camilla won't be pushed around and has ensured her voice has been heard during preparations for the King's coronation, one of her closest aides has said. Fiona, Marchioness of Lansdowne, who is an official companion of the former Duchess of Cornwall and godmother of her daughter Laura Lopes has emphasized the inner grit of the Queen Consort, who has overcame a number of controversies in recent years. Here two hours ago 05 11 Matt Gibson Camilla hurt by Harry's comments in Spare Queen Consort Camilla was hurt by Prince Harry's comments in his book, one of her closest friends has revealed. The Duke of Sussex called his stepmother dangerous and a villain in his memoir. Fiona, Marchioness of Lansdowne, one of Camilla's official companions, has publicly spoken about the Queen Consort for the first time in an interview. Here two hours ago 04 54 Matt Gibson Charles and Harry had meaningful talks before Duke agreed to attend coronation King Charles and Prince Harry reportedly had a long and heartfelt conversation prior to the latter's confirmation that he would attend the coronation next month. There is reported to be a willingness and wanting to mend on both sides. Here two hours ago 04 48 Matt Gibson Royals on brink of collapse The royal family is in danger of abolishing itself by stealth by spending less time engaging with the people of Britain, a shock report reveals. King Charles has been warned the monarchy is at risk of becoming too distant from the nation it seeks to serve after a dramatic slump in the number of public engagements. Here 8 hours ago 22 48 Jonathan King Harry's coronation decision is to protect celeb status Prince Harry's decision to attend King Charles' coronation is an attempt to protect the Sussex's celebrity status, a Netflix source has claimed. Hollywood insiders have warned Harry and Meghan's celebrity status in the US is starting to dwindle. Here 8 hours ago 22 33 Jonathan King Andrew Lloyd Webber Anthem Among 12 new coronation compositions An anthem written by Andrew Lloyd Webber and a coronation march created by Patrick Doyle are among 12 new compositions for the ceremony at Westminster Abbey on May 6. Lord Lloyd Webber has already played a version of his coronation piece, Make a Joyful Noise a coronation anthem, to King Charles but he remained tight-lipped about the royal response he received. He said, I had the good fortune to discuss the text with His Majesty the King. We discussed the writings of Solomon and I suggested adapting Psalm 98 with its message of make a joyful noise unto the Lord, the King. It seems so appropriate to the moment in the coronation service. I played, and tried to sing, my early score for The King a few weeks ago. I have composed a short opening and closing fanfare, which will be played by the fanfare trumpeters of the Royal Air Force. The anthem is scored for the wonderful choir of Westminster Abbey and the Coronation Orchestra. 
Nine hours ago 22 25 Jonathan King Emmy nominated composer to write coronation music A Brit and Emmy nominated composer has been commissioned by the King to write music for his coronation. Sarah Class, who has composed musical scores for Sir David Attenborough's Natural World programs and National Geographic documentaries, was personally invited by Charles to write music for the coronation. She spoke of her pride in attending the coronation and that in Charles, the country has a monarch who is as passionate about the environment as she is. She said, I feel very honored and privileged and excited to be part of it. I think for me, it's not just a contribution, I just feel so happy that I'm lending my support through my music and that is the ultimate for me. I love the fact that we have somebody in this position, who has these values about the planet who cares about the environment and our biodiversity. It's something that's very important to me and it's crucial at the moment that all of these issues are looked at, and to have somebody in that position is so special and valuable. 10 hours ago 21 28 Jonathan King Samantha Markle accuses Meghan of making her look like fame-seeking stranger Samantha Markle has accused her half-sister Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, of making her look like a fame-seeking stranger. According to court documents obtained by Fox News Digital, the lawsuit of Meghan's sibling filed an amended complaint on April 13. Samantha 58, has claimed she was defamed by the Duchess's comments made in Harry and Meghan's 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. Here 10 hours ago 21 11 Jonathan King King Charles shocks Dukes with snub from 2000 strong coronation guest list King Charles has snubbed a number of Dukes by not extending an invite to them for his coronation, taking place in three weeks time. In line with King Charles' long-anticipated plan to slim down the monarchy, not all members of the nobility have been invited. Another significant aspect of the coronation is the inclusion of only working royals on the balcony, leaving out Prince Andrew and Prince Harry. The Duke of Rutland and Duke of Somerset have not even received an invite, according to reports. Here 11 hours ago 19 51 Jonathan King Charles shows backbone and won't tolerate shenanigans of Spears Harry and Andrew King Charles has put on an unexpected display of backbone by not tolerating the shenanigans of Spears Prince Harry and Prince Andrew, royal commentator Daniela Elzer has said. The royal expert writing about whether Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, should be stripped of their royal titles, said the monarch has recently shown he has no has no intention of tiptoeing around feelings or worrying about upsetting the family's troublesome dukes. Here 13 hours ago 17 43 Jonathan King Tyler Perry made request for Meghan and Harry when they moved out of his LA mansion US actor Tyler Perry made one request of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they moved out of his LA mansion after the couple stepped back from their royal duties. Harry and Meghan spent most of 2020 in one of Perry's lavish homes after moving to California from Canada. While they were settling into their new home, Perry gave the Sussexes a grand piano as a housewarming gift, along with a sweet request. Here 14 hours ago 17 15 Jonathan King police on high alert over plots to sabotage King's coronation The police are reportedly on high alert ahead of King Charles' coronation amid murmurs of groups plotting to sabotage the ceremony. Key figures will attend the May 6 ceremony, including Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, senior members of the government and the Church of England as well as other leading members of the Commonwealth. Di Davis, former head of Royal Protection, said, the threat is as big as it has been in 50 years. 
here 15 hours ago 16 colon 01 Jonathan King whom's a use off war and plot to ditch monarchy to salvage SNP's independence dream is doomed Scottish National Party leader whom's a use off will not win over more voters to Scottish independence by pushing to ditch the monarchy, a pollster has warned. The new First Minister declared during the bitter SNP leadership contest that Scotland could oust the royal family within five years of independence. Polling expert, Professor Sir John Curtis, said while plans to get rid of the monarchy may be popular with SNP members, they will not win over no voters to the independence cause. Here 16 hours ago 15 colon 02 Jonathan King Prince Edward and his entourage rushed to the aid of bedridden Ulrika Yonson Ulrika Yonson has used her latest column to revisit a fond memory involving Prince Edward. The presenter and the Duke of Edinburgh were good friends in their younger years. Edward took her treats from Buckingham Palace, with the box they came in still treasured to this day. Yonson, 55, was battling glandular fever when she got an unexpected visit from His Royal Highness. Ulrika branded his move sweet as she detailed how he arrived with his entourage of security guards. Here 16 hours ago 14 colon 35 Lauren Welch Harry and Meghan plotted delayed coronation announcement and break from royal protocol most people in the UK are underwhelmed at the prospect of next month's ceremony at Westminster Abbey, a poll published on Friday suggested. Meghan Markle has read the tea leaves in respect of the public response should she have opted to attend King Charles III's coronation, and is skipping it to avoid being booed, a US-based royal expert has said. Hillary Ford which also suggested the Sussexes had been presented with the perfect out by the fact that son Prince Archie's fourth birthday falls on May 6, the same day as the lavish ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Here 17 hours ago 14 colon 00 Lauren Welch Meghan and Harry not learning from past PR mistakes exclusive, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex messaging has been all over the place and points to a one foot, one foot out approach, according to a PR expert. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not learning from their past PR errors, according to a PR expert. Edward Coram James, chief executive of SEO Specialists Go Up, discussed the Sussex's decision-making after the plan for Harry, 38, to attend the King's coronation solo emerged. Meghan, 41, will remain in California with the couple's two children, Archie and Lilibet during the occasion in May. Here 18 hours ago 13 colon 15 Lauren Welch Harry faces excruciating coronation after humiliating climb down Harry is likely to be blanked by members of his family with hundreds of millions watching, a royal commentator has claimed. Prince Harry's presence at King Charles' coronation next month will be excruciating after his humiliating decision to attend the event, a royal commentator has claimed. After months of speculation, Harry finally revealed he would be going to the coronation on May 6 but without his wife Meghan Markle. Daniela Elzer described Harry's decision as an epic climb down and said he will likely be blanked by others' royals including his closest relatives. Here 19 hours ago 12 colon 29 Lauren Welch Meghan decision disrespectful to King after Charles walked her down the aisle Meghan Markle will not attend King Charles' coronation but Prince Harry will journey to the UK for the ceremony. Meghan Markle has been slammed for disrespecting the monarchy after it was announced that she would not attend King Charles' coronation. Here 19 hours ago 11 colon 32 Lauren Welch Prince Harry is so lucky has not sitting on the naughty stool at King's coronation Prince Harry should be grateful he was invited to the coronation instead of worrying about seating plans, claims a royal expert. Prince Harry has been labeled petulant after a report claimed he was concerned about his seating arrangements ahead of King Charles' coronation. 
It has been suggested that a delay in the Duke's response to his invite stemmed from concerns over where he would be seated in Westminster Abbey. Royal expert Charles Ray slammed the Duke over his alleged concerns, claiming he should be grateful to have even been invited to the once-in-a-generation event. Here 20 hours ago 10 colon 59 Lauren Welch Meghan Markle planning and Ray grouping after vanishing into thin air there has been a Meghan shaped absence from US society in recent months. Meghan Markle is likely planning and Ray grouping her next move during the recent stint away from the public gaze, it is suggested. The Duchess of Sussex, 41 will not be attending King Charles' coronation next month, with Prince Harry going solo, as the Duke has been during appearances promoting memoir spare. Here 21 hours ago 10 colon 24 Lauren Welch Meghan and Harry attending coronation more likely to be backed by Remainers, poll finds research shows older people and leavers are less inclined to want Harry and Meghan to be at the ceremony. Remainers and young people are more likely to think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should receive an invite to the King's coronation, polling suggests. Exactly 50% of the 18 to 24 year old demographic believe the couple should attend the celebrations, with even greater support, 56%, among those aged 25 to 49. Here 21 hours ago 09 colon 37 Lauren Welch Meghan and Harry's brand on life support as Duke attends coronation to survive in US Prince Harry will attend the coronation while Meghan Markle remains at home in California, but some royal watchers claim the Duke will benefit from highlighting the couple's ties to the royal family. The King's coronation will help the Duke of Duchess and Sussex brand, which is on life support according to a royal expert. The Duke, 38, is now set to attend the crowning of King Charles after waiting weeks to RSVP to the event. Here 23 hours ago 07 colon 51 Lauren Welch Prince Harry set for security boost at coronation due to interest in the royal scandal exclusive, a royal expert has claimed that Prince Harry's attendance at the King's coronation will prompt a sharp increase in security. Prince Harry could be set for a security boost at the King's coronation due to the high amount of interest in the scandal surrounding his relationship with the firm according to an expert. On Wednesday, Buckingham Palace confirmed that the Duke of Sussex will be travelling to the UK to join his father at Westminster Abbey on May 6. Meghan Markle and the couple's two children, Archie and Lilibet, will remain in California. Here, 